whether you're working in Microsoft Word or any other professional document editor. Understanding page formatting is the key to creating polished, organized pages. And no, we are not talking about fonts or bold text. This is all about the layout, structure, and visual arrangement of your pages. If you've never used MS Word before, don't worry. I'll walk you through every click. Before typing a single word, you want your page size, margins, and orientation ready. Think of page setup as setting the stage for your entire document. At the very top of the screen, click the Layout tab. Click Size, and you will see options like A4, Letter, and Legal. Click the one that matches your needs. Next to that, click Orientation. Choose Portrait if you want a tall page and landscape for a wide one. Now, click Margins. If you aren't sure what to pick, choose Normal. It gives you one inch space all round. If your document will be printed and bound, click Custom Margins at the bottom of that menu. And in the pop-up, set a gutter margin. This extra space ensures nothing gets hidden in the spine. When printing, if your content looks too big or too small, you can adjust scale to paper size in the print menu to fit everything neatly. Layout controls how your content moves, so it doesn't shift around when you add new material. And here is how to manage it. If you need a new page, don't press enter over and over. Instead, click where you want the new page to be inserted. Click insert at, at the top menu. Then, page break. This jumps you directly to a clean new page. Note that the new page is inserted to the point where the cursor is. For a different layout in the middle of your document, like changing margins or columns for just one part. Go to Layout, Breaks, Section Breaks, and choose Next Page. Now try to change the page orientation for that new section and see what happens. Only one section ch is changed. To split text into multiple columns, select the text. Go to Layout, then Columns, and pick one of the presets or click More Columns to set your own widths and spacing. To move text up and down on a page, click Layout, Page Setup, open the Layout tab, and under Vertical Alignment, choose Top, Center, or Bottom. If you insert a picture and the text jumps, click the picture, then click Wrap Text under the Picture Format tab and choose an option like Square, Tight, or Top, and Bottom to control how text flows around it. Headers and footers are spaces at the top and bottom of, of the page where you can add repeating information like titles and page numbers. Here is how to set them up. Move your mouse to the very top of the page and double click. This opens the header area. You can do the same at the bottom to open the footer area. Type what you want, for example, a report title or the company name. If you don't want a header on the first page, tick the box that says different first page. If your document is for double-sided printing, check different odd and even pages to make alternative page designs. For page numbers, go to insert, page number, choose the position that is top, bottom, left or right. Visuals like Images, charts, and shapes help break up large blocks of text and make your document easier to follow. 
here's how to insert and position them. Go to the Insert tab, click Pictures to add an image from your computer. Shapes for arrows or boxes or chart to insert a graph. Once inserted, click on the object. A new format tab appears at the top. Click position to choose where the object sits on the page. For example, in the center, top left or bottom right. Click wrap text to control how your text flows around it. Try square for neat blocks or through for creative layouts. Use bring forward or send backward to layer objects. And if you don't want the object to move when you type, right click it, click wrap text and choose fix position on page. Backgrounds and shading can give your document personality or make it look official. Here is how to add them. Go to the design tab at the top. Click page color, then fill effects and choose one color, two colors, shading styles or preset. If you've learned anything new, please like the video before we continue. For a watermark, click watermark in the same tab and select a preset like confidential or draft or click custom watermark to make your own which can be text or image. To use a full page image, insert it. Then click wrap text behind text. So it sits behind everything. To add shading to an entire page or section, select that section. Go to design, page borders, then Click the, the shading tab and select your fill color and style. In longer documents, numbering helps you and your readers keep track of where you are. Go to insert, page number, and pick the location like top, bottom, left, or right. If you don't want numbering to start from the first page, for example, if you have a cover page, Insert a section break at the end of that page. Then, in the header or footer, click Link to Previous to turn it off and restart numbering at 1. Don't forget to hit the like button. To insert a table of contents, go to the References tab, click Table of Contents and pick a style. Word will place it where your cursor is. And that's how you do page formatting in Word. From setting up the page to adding structure, visuals, and numbering. Once you control the page, you control the reading experience of your readers. Most of you have been asking me uh, to talk about the mail merge feature. This tool enables you to send the same document to multiple people at the same time. In the next video, I'll break down this feature in the simplest way. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it out. See you then.